Hello, everyone. Welcome to Tuesday. Welcome to the week of Halloween. It is Halloween. Halloween. It's Halloween. I was gonna say, I don't know how many eves it is. Yeah, many eves. Many but eves. it's it's Halloween right awesome. now, which means that we're kicking into not only just like fall, fo well, I <sighs> guess like this video is still technically fall focused, mm -hmm. but the Thursday video will be a little bit more Halloween ish focused than fall. Mm -hmm. But we're still sticking to the, the timely vibe. seasonal videos. So today we have one that we actually did exactly a year ago because we did this last time on the Tuesday before Halloween. And and what is it right now? The Tuesday before Halloween. Yes. So we should like this is gonna be yearly. Yeah, maybe. Maybe the week of Halloween fine. will always kind of be the same layout. Mm -hmm. So today's video is the same as last year. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna be doing a video that is definitely fun for us, and hopefully it is fun for you guys as well. It is definitely not as informative. It is more of just like entertainment. It's more of like mm -hmm. a game show type situation. It's fun, it is something that you can play along with us except for the last part you'll see. Or you can like copy the format and play with a PFF or a Oh, friend. that would be fun. Yeah. Today's video is the How Well Do You Know Your Own Poshmark Closet Fall Edition. Not very well. This is the third time we've done it like period ever, but it's the second time we've done a fall one. And the only differences from last year is last year at the end, we asked questions like, what is your oldest coat in your closet? What is your oldest listing of a boot? And we ixnade those questions this year because obviously that has not changed. No. New listings have come, but nothing can be older than the oldest now. Mm -hmm. So those questions are gone, but we have a new round. Let me tell you guys about the layout of the game. First up, we are kind of doing similar to last year, and we are having four fall categories from Poshmark, which are jackets slash coats, boots, jeans, and sweaters. So those are our four categories. And under each category, we will have a number of questions about like, what's your most expensive one you've ever had? And what's your most recent sale? And mm -hmm. you will see as we go. And that is round one. And then round two is the bonus round to, oh, rack, to rack up some bonus points. I love a bonus and point. it is called the, I'm already forgetting it again. It is the, the pricing pop quiz. That's what I was going to call it. <laughs> what that is, is each of us looked at each other's closets mm -hmm. and we picked 10 kind of unique items from these categories that have been sold and we're going to quiz the other person on their own closet and ask about these specific items and what they sold for. Okay, so I guess Ryan's version also is some active listings. But I think way, most of them, but we'll find out. Same concept. Mine are what they sold for and Ryan's are either what they But you have them listed for. for. Anyways, if you're within $5, you get two points and if you're within $10, you get one point. Mm -hmm. That is the Lightning round. pricing pop quiz. Oh, that's going to be <laughs> fun. I'm going to do so bad. Yeah, so before we jump into it, please hit that subscribe button if you're new here and if you the are dingly thing. If you're new or a repeat watcher, please hit the Ding. thumbs up if you're liking our fall and Halloween content as it comes to oh. an end. And it's it the makes last so, week. It's the last Tuesday before Halloween, oh, which Lord. makes me so sad. In October. <sighs> October come back. Bars. So we're going to jump into it and how this will work. I know it feels like I've already explained it forever. I will read Ryan the thing mm -hmm. that he has to guess and then I will tell him if he's right or wrong and what the answer is and then he'll do mine and mm -hmm. we'll just go back and forth. Yes. Let's jump into it. If you're playing along, think to yourself what your answer is, then check your answers. Or maybe or write, write them, them down. Write them out. Write them down. And then go check them at the end. And then write down what you think they sold for. So first off, we're jumping into the coats. And Ooh. Ryan, what what is the most expensive coat that you have ever sold on Poshmark? And you get a bonus point if you know what the price was the within price $10. Price. Okay. I am not confident about this answer, but maybe. I sold a old North Face puffer jacket that was mine and it was black and I sold it for $125. Oh, and by the way, we do have our guesses pre-written yes. out. So we, so we have don't just think on our going, little sheet. Uh, like, oh. <laughs> yes. So Ryan is eh, oh, shit. incorrect. Ryan's most expensive coat coat he ever sold was a Veda leather moto jacket. Oh, yeah. And just for fun, do you remember what it sold for? Uh, around $300? And it sold for $300, but you don't get any points for that. Shoot! It's okay. So, what is your most expensive coat you've ever sold? So, my most expensive coat that I've ever sold, I believe this question was asked last year, and I believe it is the same answer. I don't know, but I think it's the same one. And that is the Moncler Down Puffer Jacket, and it sold 
sold for $599. $590. Okay, well, I was within it 10. Sold for $590. So I'm at two. Hopefully, scorekeeping Jack is putting it like below. We need like a whiteboard. I was going to say, yeah. we hadn't thought that through, but I now have a festive handy dandy notebook to keep our scores on. So I'm at two. Perfect. <laughs> I'm at none. So next question about the coats, Ryan. What is the most <sighs> expensive coat you have as an active listing? It is not sold yet on your Poshmark closet. I don't know. This I think it's be a... really easy. Really easy. Oh. Yeah, I said it was a men's another North Face puffer that I have listed for $75. Eh. So Ryan's, that was right. Ryan's most oh. expensive active coat. What is it? He just listed either today or yesterday, and it's a Veronica Beard. Oh, oh shoot. <laughs> oh my God. I just listed Leopard that. Leopard denim oh. jacket. It's literally, as you say, it's <laughs> and, literally right here. And it's listed for 160 And like I said, that is a within 24 hours listed jacket. My guess for mine is a Valentino. Again, I think it's the same of last year. Valentino butterfly print blazer and it's listed for I think $3,400. Mm -hmm. Which is kind of sad if it's the same as last year because that means it hasn't sold for a whole year. It's but also it's $3,400. Okay, and last coat question. Ryan, what is your most recent coat that you sold? A Levi's denim jacket that Correct. I sold for $30. Correct. Two but points. The prices, no, the prices don't count on that question. Cry feel, me a freaking river. Cheated. My most recent coat sold, this is just a guess based on what sold Saturday last week, and I'm guessing it's that broken zip for North Face long puffer. Mm -hmm. Okay, score is Keep five to one. Shoot. So next category <laughs> is boots and kind of the same layout. Ryan, what is the most expensive boot that you have ever sold in your Poshmark closet? Uh, I couldn't think of one, so I just said Fry knee high boots, $200. That was your second. Oh! Your most expensive was Christian Louboutin heeled booties that came with the box and the dust bag. And oh they God, sold, I forgot they about sold those. for $400. Four Ryan bucks. forgets about his expensive sales. I forget about them instantly because they're sold. <laughs> My guess, and I'm very, very wary that I'm probably wrong, because oh, this only is Poshmark, all of these questions. Yes. And I don't know if these sold on Posh, but it was the Fry Deborah studded boots, and I think they they sold for 300 wherever they sold. And old gringo, the ones that look like oh, those, uh, <laughs> That's my highest. $200. Oh. 200 bucks. Ugh. Which everyone is seeing the correct answers as yes, we go through them. Yes, we have pictures. Okay, so Ryan, what was what is your most expensive pair of active boots? It is a beautiful pair of Louis Vuitton boots, and they are eight hundred dollars. Ding ding. Two points. <laughs> and my most expensive boots active. Again, I have no clue. I actually realized I don't think I pick up boots that often. No, so, I don't either. <laughs> so it was a. I think it's my pair of All Saints like Moto buckle boots, and I might have them priced at two fifty. What? Oh, you way off. Oh. Gucci GG Marmont leather boots. Oh my Price at a thousand dollars. That's so They're irritating. Priced at a grand. <laughs> it's so irritating because as I was going through these like most expensive things, before I'd write anything, I'd go through my head like Gucci, Louis, Burberry, Prada. Do I have anything from any of these? And I was like, no, I don't. So okay. <laughs> Well, great. I'm sneaking up on you. And what is your most recent pair of boots sold? Oh, this was rough. I put black leather boots because I couldn't think of anything. Well, obviously wrong. <laughs> no. Ryan's most recent sold boots were fry studded western boots. Oh, wow. I really, haven't really sold cute. a pair of boots in that long. Those were really cute, though. And mine, Those I hope that you cute. looked at men's too because I think that my most recent pair of boots sold was Doc Martin's men's with the red laces that were from my own personal collection. Yeah. Oh, no, it wasn't. Um, the Madewell Rory ankle booties. Oh, those are hardly boots. These are hardly boots. But Madewell said they were boots, so technically. Let's move on to jeans. Lord. Let's go to denim. So, Ryan, what is your most expensive pair of jeans that you have ever sold in your entire life? I think it's a pair of Levi's, and I sold them for 80 bucks. It is a pair of Mother White Act Natural jeans, and you sold them for $128. $128. So, I think... Shoot. I think, 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 think. I'm... I'm realizing I don't know my posh closet very well. I don't know it at all. Because even if I'm right with these, I have like zero confidence in it. I know. <laughs> so my most expensive, I think, is my pair of mother asymmetrical button, like rider jeans or mm -hmm. whatever that is. And yeah. they were 150 that they sold for. 145. Oh, two points. Most expensive jeans that you have actively listed. The Veronica Beard little boot cut jeans for $160. Oh. 
140. dollars Yeah, too late. No, what are they? Are they 140? 140? I listed those literally right after I listed that jacket, so I don't if know how you, I didn't if remember. If that wasn't the answer, would you remember those jeans? No, I wouldn't have at all. So if I didn't bring up the jacket, you would have not brought up the jeans either. No, I remember the jeans because I wrote them down because okay. I was like, those are cute. So my jacket. most this oh gosh, I don't know. It's this is I am quite certain this is wrong. I just had to guess. I left this one blank for so long. I just listed recently a pair of Levi's 70s high flare jeans for 118 and that's pretty high but I don't know if that's my highest. At Gucci dark wash straight leg jeans $280. I think that those are in a box headed to the railroad right now so those <laughs> should not be active so Oops. that's why I didn't think of those. Whoops. And what are your most recent pair of sole jeans? Levi's 721 high rise. I sold them for $35. Just sold them. Yep even though the price doesn't matter on the recent sales but yes. I'm point. still only two points behind you. And mine are, I'm, oh my gosh, I sold two pair of jeans. I literally hit accept offer and accept offer on these at the same time. And I hope I know the second one. I think it was the Madeball Black nine inch high rise jeans. Yes. <sighs> Mm -hmm. I sold them at the exact same time as a pair of Levi's. So like, Woo. close. And our last category for round one is of course, what else but sweaters for fall? <gasps> so most expensive sweater that you sold. This was so hard for me. I like had no freaking idea. I don't remember the name of it, but it was a free people sweater I sold for $90. It is actually a Baya long embroidered duster oh, cardigan yeah. that sold for $150. Okay. And I, oh, I do, and I'm probably not right. I just said the Couples Gem Cashmere sweater for like $125. Eh. Club Monaco warm wool sweater, $148. Bucks. Oh, that first Club Monaco I ever mm -hmm. sold. Yeah. Most expensive active sweater? Uh, Tippy blue plaid for a hundred. Tippy blue plaid. Blue plaid, I don't remember the name of it. I for cannot believe you didn't get this. And seventy dollars. Is that not it? What is it? Vintage Disney Mickey America. Oh sweater. my god. Three fifty. <laughs> And this, Shoot. I have to be right. I had something else, and then this came to my mind, and I was like, oh, 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 this is right. Stella McCartney Sherpa Faux Fur Cardigan yeah. for seven ninety, and I only guessed that because it's either eight hundred or seven eighty, and I wanted to be with the seven ninety. Oh, it is. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Y'all, I'm slipping. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. I'm at 10. I mean, you guys probably see the score. And Ryan's at 5, so he's losing his little ketchup there. He's down to mustard. He lost his ketchup. <laughs> down to mustard. <laughs> And the last little question for so round one is what is your most recent sweater that you sold? A free people reindeer sweater to Gina and it sold for $50. And that is not mm -hmm. correct. Oh, it's not? It's Shoot. Ann Taylor Gray knew a tag. <laughs> I didn't Because that was like two days ago. It sold last You night. don't know your Poshmark. <laughs> Mine is a vintage Y2K chunky sweater. Yep. <laughs> And that one I knew for sure. Y2K Jan Taylor cardigan is what I called it. Jan. Jan Taylor was the name of the brand. It was? Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't even think I had the brand in the title. As of round one, Jack is at 11 and Ryan is at five. This is my moment. Don't this this is these. the round to make up for points not obtained. And this is the price pop quids. So this is the time when you can even get two points for one question. And let's go over it again. This is 10 mm -hmm. random items that were supposed to be sold in each other's closets. I think, and yeah. No, these are all sold. What part two is, is these are 10 unique, to kind of help the person mm -hmm. like know what we're talking about, more unique items that have sold and the person has to guess how much it sold for. Mm -hmm. And if they're within $5, they get two points. And if they're within $10, they get one point. And for this round, we can also show each other screenshots of the items, just in case like who knows if the person has sold two things that would like sound the same based on title. Mm -hmm. So like, just to really drill in what item we're talking about. So just go back and forth. We each have 10 and I will put a picture up of the item that it is. So Ryan, your first item is an Urban Outfitters okay. BDG cropped Fair Isle sweater that looks like oh, this. I love that How sweater. I did so too. $30. You sold this for $40. So you do get one point. So actually it, that's probably a win because you sold it for more than you <laughs> thought you did. No, thank God. Okay, your first is a brown Madewell Cardigan. That I probably sold three times. So I don't know. That's not very unique, but. No, but uh, you can get an extra point if you guess how many likes it has. Still. And it's been sold for 
a long time. So this is an older one. So this probably yeah. still like 50. 43. Oh so, I, oh, so I get one point. You get a point. I don't Extra know. Extra point. How many likes do you think it has? I almost gave Ryan a bonus point with it. He does not deserve. That has 172 likes, everyone. It has 172 likes. Madeable cardigan, everyone. Thank you. Okay, so number two for Ryan. I actually picked very unique things. Clearly, Ryan did not. I did my very best. I picked <laughs> this, which, well, actually, I'm not going to say what I was going to say because it'll be a hint. But this is a Susan Bristol floral vintage sweater vest. So cute. So cute. $35. You just lost that point. It was $20. Total, 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 total steal for that buyer. That's what I was going to say I before. I think one of you guys bought it, actually. So that's good then. That wasn't surprising. But I was going to say before that I can't believe you sold it this low, but then you would have guessed the low numbers. I still can't believe you sold that that low. That was really cute. Your next one, Rare Anthropology Sleeping on Snow duster i don't even need to see the picture i know, you know exactly what it looks what like yep. i know what i had it listed for it started at like 200 it was like around 150 for a long time and then it only sold for literally like 90 100 bucks one point okay i almost You're guessed my butt <laughs> shoot i just know my stuff i don't know anything <laughs> So Ryan's next item is this really, really cute Urban Outfitters Cooperative The School Sweater is what I called it. $40. This is so cute. And once again, you're just out of that point range. <laughs> this sold for $28, which again, I think you should have gotten more for that. That's really, really cute. And yeah, Ryan, cute. once again, undersold himself and gets no points. <laughs> No, I think it, it wasn't worth that much. It was just cute though. The Enza Costa tie dye long sleeve sweater. Really like bleach dyed sweater. Yeah, I know which one you're mm -hmm. talking about. <laughs> I'm so I know my closet so much I didn't even see the pictures that Ryan failed to take. <laughs> Sorry. This, oh, this did so well. And I had it listed at like 90 and obviously it didn't sell for my full asking price. I think it sold, I'm just gonna say 65. Ooh, no points, 80 bucks. Oh, wow. Oh, they just accepted an offer I sent out, I mm -hmm. think. I listed at 90 and I kept sending. Okay. With discount shipping. Ryan's next item is something that literally I wish I had stolen and I wish <sighs> he had never sold ever because I love it so much. And it is this Zara Western Fringe Long. 100 bucks. He had it under sweater, but I would almost call it a coat. 100 bucks. Exactly. Two points. <laughs> Coming up. Can we all just wish that Ryan had that back so we could all I try wanted to it buy it from so him? bad. I would have loved to keep that too. That was so it was cute. It was so cute. It didn't fit anybody though. It was too tiny. Rag and Bone Drea booties. Silver velvet booties. Oh, okay. So these, I can always remember my like original price. If that was the quiz, I, I could do any. so much better. I, I had those price at like 225 and they, oh gosh, this was a long time ago, but they did sell for a good amount. 150? 180. Oh, oh. Okay, Ryan's next item is this Anthropology DRA plaid long multicolor coat of many colors. 70 bucks. This sold for $70. Because <laughs> remember, I made 56 out of that and I paid six bucks for it. Two points. Tory Birch, they were called the Koran Rabbit Fur Gemmed Oh booties. gosh. <laughs> uh, I like to bring up all the bad Yeah, I was gonna say, you picked up old all stuff. All the traumatizing ones. Oh, once again, I had these listed really high because they're really rare and they were real fur, which was kind of nasty. Um, they, I'm also just gonna guess 150. 90. Mm. <laughs> I would have not known that. Okay, halfway through the price this point pop quiz. Okay, so <gasps> next up. Only three up, behind you. Next up, you're not looking at my screen. No, I'm not. I'm looking at the scorecard. Next up the is this screen. Zara Make Mama Proud jacket, which you might not even need to see. Oh, that denim jacket. 65. I think you're cheating. I'm not cheating, but I remember the weird things how that you used to be Weird mine. how you didn't know any of them, and now you've gotten three of them. I remember right all on. the my favorite things. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Jewels, Butterfly, Molly, Wellies. Oh my gosh, I already had these listed for like two days. I don't remember. Um, like 45. 30. Great, okay. <laughs> I feel. <laughs> Steve Madden, Marin, Maroon. Autocorrect. Maroon, Oop. Velvet, Floral, 
boot heel? Um, forty dollars. You get one point for that one because they were fifty, which is pretty, oh, good. pretty good for some Steve Madden's. For some Stevie. -ish. Cabby red tweed jacket. Oh, okay. See, I thought you were talking about that more recently. This sold for twelve dollars, right? This sold for eleven. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> that was. One of, the, if you couldn't tell by was, the wooden door, that was like one of my OG listings That was ever. your oldest jacket listing in your closet ever. So you're just trying to trick me. And I'm no. literally giving you like I'm three playing, games. I'm playing hard games. This you next one's playing probably going to be so easy for you. Cap. United Nude Split Wedge Boots. What'd they look like? Uh, 115? Maybe? Or like 20. Y'all, this is gonna make everybody it. cry. Ryan sold these $398 United Nude boots for- It's gonna be like 10 bucks. 10 bucks. You're kidding me, no, it was $10? <laughs> no. That is a tragedy. I did? Oh, that I must not remember you that. You should lose all your points for being literally over 100 off in sales price. That's pretty rough. I remember nobody wanted to buy those. I don't I know why. For so long. Okay. And nobody wanted them. Levi's extra long trucker jacket. <gasps> Oh, I wanted, <laughs> I wanted to keep this so, so bad. bad, but it was doing so good at the high price I had it at. So I was like, I can't keep it if I can make this much money. This sold for, I'm just gonna guess like 125. 128. Oh yes. You're close. Oh. Two points. AG 70s flare jeans. The Farah. Yes. $40. Correct. Spot on. Love them. <gasps> oh, I thought I was winning. No. Red, okay, so this is where it gets to be, like, these are the availables. Red Valentino serpent denim jacket. $780. Mm -hmm. hmm, maybe it'll help that they're active. I think it will. And this is your last one. <gasps> it is the Eileen Fisher pain splatter leg and look. 50 jeans. bucks. Yes, I love those. The That's only so Eileen fun. Fisher you'll catch me saying, Literally. I love those. Free People X Levi's Poncho Trucker Jacket. Oh, it's down, mm, no, 300. Yep. <laughs> you should have done solds. I know! Uh. So the final tally on the score is 22 for Jack and 17 for Ryan. He definitely did catch up a little bit at the end there. Yay! You had a lot of them like spot on for solds. I know all my solds. I don't me, know anything that's active. That's the so opposite. It sells. For some reason for me, I'm like, oh, I could like tell you what I originally listed it for or what it's listed for now. But like solds, I'm like, I just took it off. Like, I don't know. I it's just not here anymore. got some money. That is it for our little fun, like fall festive game. Oh, that was fun. Please, I hope you guys played along with us. And if you did, tell us what score you got or even just like type in your entries below if you needed somewhere to type it. But let us know how you did or if not, let us know if you're gonna play this as well. We have fun doing this. Like they are fun every year. It's a nice Realize little, like that my dementia is just getting. <laughs> it's a nice little like worse and worse and worse. Cool down relaxer for the week that is Halloween. Mm -hmm. We will see you guys on Thursday for a more Halloween focused video, yeah. and then we'll see you later this week as well. Bye. Bye. Bye.